duration. Duration is a systematic risk metric in the bond market to measure interest rate risk. Macaulay duration is the first derivative of a bond's price with respect to interest rates. Alternatively, Macaulay duration is calculated by specifying the timing and magnitude of the bond's principal and interest payments, discounting them back to the present, assigning a time weight to each of those discounted payments, adding them up, and calculating a weighted average time to repayment of principal denominated in today's dollars. Duration is to bonds as beta is to stocks. Modified duration can be calculated by taking Macaulay duration and dividing it by 1 plus the quotient between the bond's yield to maturity and the number of compounding periods. Modified duration is a bit of a misleading term because it is not the duration that is being modified. It is the measurement of duration that is being modified. Key rate duration takes into account key points on the yield curve. Key rate duration is calculated by taking the first derivative of the bond's price with respect to one of the 11 key rates on the yield curve. Duration is a magic holding period, holding a bond for a time period equal to its duration, and then selling it immunizes investors from the price risk associated with a one-time parallel shift in the yield curve. Effective duration takes into account that the timing and magnitude of a bond's cash flows can change as interest rates change. If you take all 11 key rate durations for a bond and sum them up, that is mathematically equivalent to effective duration. Effective duration can also be calculated by taking the bond's price if yields fall minus the bond's price if yields rise, and dividing the difference by twice the product between the change in yield and the spot price of the bond. Financial institutions can manage interest rate risk by matching the duration of their assets and liabilities. If a financial institution has assets with a longer duration than the liabilities of the financial institution and interest rates rise, the financial institution can lose equity value and can become insolvent if the value of its assets fall below the value of its liabilities.